Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijutail Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful flower and daisies earrings that are a match to the necklace that I showed you in my previous video and I have it linked here and down there in description as well. They are easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make it by yourself. If you wonder what the necklace was, this is the necklace and I also did a beautiful anklet. I think those daisies are really modern now and if you go to the seaside or on your regular summer vacation, it is a good idea to make one of those and I made those like a present for my niece. She has a birthday soon. Okay, so if you like what I'm showing you here, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell to receive uh, all those beautiful tutorials and never miss a thing. Down there you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could also follow me and share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials, mainly on Facebook and Instagram. And don't forget to like, share and comment and maybe you would want to check my second channel with the fast clips also linked in description. Okay, so now I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of 60 beads, white and red. And here I used two colors of 11 seed beads, green and yellow. And I also used two colors of 8 beads, yellow and green. If you don't know about the bead sizes, I have a special tutorial and you will see it here at the eye icon and I also have a, a whole playlist for beginners in beading. Here I'm using earring findings and here I have two jump rings. This is monofilm and that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters and you could use wildfire or file line. If you don't know about the beading threads, I also have a tutorial on them and you could see it here at the playlist. And here I'm using size 10 beading needle and scissors. I also have a tutorial on the sizes of the needles and the other beading tools. Okay, so now I'm going to take about 60 centimeters of thread on my needle, which is about two feet of thread and I'll be back. Okay, and how I'm going to start making the earrings, I'm going to take six of be these beautiful 6 beads. Six 6 -0s. Okay, let me focus. And I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and how I make it I make here a loop like this and I go twice through this loop and I pull and then I will make one more knot, okay, just to be sure it's all tight and secure. And after that guys, I will go through some beads in this direction, okay, this is the main circle. Now I'm going to take one yellow bead for the center and as I'm exiting from this bead I'm gonna go through the opposite bead and how I find the opposite I count one two three so I will go through this third one and this is the opposite and it's natural because here I have two beads here I have two beads and these are the middle two okay so I go here, in the same direction I go, where my thread is pointing to. You see it's pointing in this direction, so I go in this direction, okay? Now guys, I have this. And what I'm going to do next is take one green bead and go here between the petals of the daisy. Then again, and 
and I will continue this until the end of this row. Okay, I added the last one, then I exited through the white and through the next green. You see where I am. And now I'm going to pick up three green beads. Okay, three. And as I'm exiting through this green, I'm going back in circle through the same green by adding three more. Now I have four in a cross, or this is called right angle weave. You see here I have a loop between those beads. Back in circle I'm going. Then what I do is that I go through the 6 so and through the following 11 o And I'm going to take 3 more. And I'm going back like this. And then guys, I think you got the idea. I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys, and I'm here at my last step where I need to add my last three beads. And here I will do something differently. I will add again three, but I will add an 11 o a green 8 o If you remember, I had only two of those green 8 o's And then one more. And what I do is that I go back here through this bead. Just like this. Okay, and why I add larger bead here at this end? Uh, because here I'm going to put a jump ring and my earring finding, and if I put a small bead, the jump ring won't go through its hole. That is why I'm making this trick to put a NATO here. At this part, of course, you could attach your earring finding in the most common way that I show in most of my videos uh, with two seed beads and going around it. But now I'm going to show this with a jump ring, okay? So now you could go and reinforce your work several times. And when you're ready, you choose a place and make a knot, okay? Let's say I will make a knot here. And how I make it, I make here a loop. And I'm going once, then I'm going second time through this loop I've made and I pull. Then I go through the following beads like this. And I will cut my thread, both my tail thread and my main thread. And now it's time to attach my earring finding. Okay, this is what I do now. Okay, and what I need now are my pliers. For this tutorial, you don't need special beading pliers, just any pliers will do. But here I'm using flat nose pliers. And as I mentioned, I have special tutorials on the beading tools in the beginner's playlist. Okay, now I'm putting this earring finding. And I'm closing my work like this. Okay, and now my earring is ready. And when I repeat this process, I have another one. And now, guys, I will make the same flower that I showed you here, but I'll make it with this red six o's. It's the same, only the color is different, and I'll be back. 
Okay guys, and when I repeat those process one more time, these are the last three beads that I'm adding. See here, I'm not adding a bigger bead in the center, an ato in the center. I'm adding all the same and small beads. Okay. Now, you could go and reinforce your work if you want. Okay, and what I want to do is turn this into a ring. Okay. And how I'm going to do this, I will put it. Okay, I will put it like this, let's say. This bit to be in this direction because it's not uh, the same from all the directions. I want it to be in this direction uh, when I make the ring. So I will start my ring bank from here and from here. Now I should reposition my thread here. Okay, and how I do this, I just continue in this direction. And I exit here at this green cross of four or right angle width. Okay, now I'm here. And from here on, I'm going to start extremely easy ring band. I will start it with these yellow beads. Okay, I'm taking two. And I'm going around this green bead. Okay, this is what I do. Now, in my next step, I'm going again through this yellow here. I'm adding two more yellows. And I'm going back in this direction. Just like this. Uh, this is the so-called herringbone stitch. But before I continue with it, I want to add two more yellows here and make this ring band stay nice and tight. Okay. Then I'm going here. Then here through this green. And again, I take one more yellow and I go through these beads. Okay, this is how I'm going to start my ring band. Okay, now I'm going to continue. I will take two more yellows. Go back in this direction. Then I go back like this. And now I continue with just a regular herringbone stitch. Okay, I will make a green row here after the three yellow rows. It's up to you, you could skip this one. Then like this. Okay, then I want to make three, three rows of yellows. If you're not familiar with the herringbone stitch, that this is it. It's really easy. Add two, go back through one, and then back through the neighbor one. Okay, and you could put these colorful stripes if you want, it's up to you. Okay, I will continue and when I have a ring band that's long enough to wrap it around my finger, I will be back. Okay guys, and you see when I'm up to here, I want to add three yellow rows and attach it here to this side. 
okay i was alternating two yellows one green only in the beginning there are three yellows but it's up to you you could do whatever you want alternate them in different way use only one color use three colors whatever you feel it's better and looks better but now i'm going to do this with three finishing yellow rows and it depends on your finger how many rows you're going to do okay guys and now after the third yellow row i think my ring band is long enough to wrap it around my finger and i want to attach it to the opposite part of my flower here you see first be sure you attaching it to the opposite here let's say this is exactly the opposite don't make the mistake to attach it here or here because it won't good, look good but attach it here at the opposite how you find the opposite you count one two and go at the third one okay now i'm here and it's time for me to attach it you see where my thread is exiting out of okay and i want to attach this to this bead here at the edge and how i do this i go here like this you see where my thread is and i'm going through the green one at the edge you see i will remove my fingers to see because sometimes you say that i don't do this and it's not clear enough okay then i go back through the yellows like this now i go back through those two yellows and i do what i did from the other side i'm taking just one yellow bead and i go here through this green the neighbor green then back through this one here then i go back through this green backwards and one more yellow and go here like that and now guys i'm going to reinforce this part okay and now i'm going to make a knot and cut my thread and you could do your knot here at the flower make a loop go once go second time through the loop you've made and then in your next step go through the following few beads and you could repeat this knot by the way several times if you want and when you're ready cut your thread okay guys and now both my earrings and my ring are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button and in this way you will never miss when i make matching jewelry to the ones that i have already done i have i have this beautiful anklet here that i also have in the shape of a necklace with those beautiful daisies and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials, all the matching tutorials, 
link for my store link for paypal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is and you could also check my second channel with the fast clips thank you so much for watching bye bye from me